All right, Dr. Pamzile Mlambo Nuka has been named the incoming UJ Chancellor. Her five year term will start in October this year. Mlambo Nuka has previously held ranks, including the UN's Under Secretary General. And of course, she was Executive Director of UN Women. She has also served as the country's Deputy President from 2005 to 2008. Mlambo Nuka uh, will take over from Jabulo, um, Jabulo Ndebele. UJ Councils uh, has thanked Ndebele for or his contribution to the institution. Mlambo Nuka's inauguration will be announced later. Well, I'm happy to announce that she joins us now. Doctor, thank you for being with us and congratulations. Um, so, so often when we uh, talk to university leaders, it's, it's the vice chancellor. You are coming in as, as chancellor. Just, just tell us what you hope to achieve, uh, how much scope uh, you think the, the role has at the University of Johannesburg. Uh, uh, good evening to you and, and your viewers. And of course, I have uh, just been uh, appointed. I have not started, so I don't have all the details uh, about uh, the job. But it's actually a, a job where you are not there on a full-time uh, basis. You are able to confer degrees. I think that is the most important thing, but in between, you are also able to, to advise and be sort of an ambassador that represents the interests of the institution. Yeah. Uh, do you hope it will be more uh, than ceremonial? Like you say, you, you have an advisory role and many people know your, your views on, on gender, on gender-based violence, on um, how women should, should be pushed uh, into leadership positions. How does that uh, sort of uh, converge with education? Well, because the people uh, who are affected, they are in higher education, just like they are everywhere in society. So I would be concerned about uh, the interests of the students, uh, of the staff, and I would do my best to make sure that I support the efforts of the university to make uh, their, their lives uh, livable. But also, um, it's important to also inspire uh, the students. It's a wonderful space where you are uh, exposed to young people. And uh, it's always important uh, that when they are young people, you put your best foot forward so that you can, you, you can inspire them as yeah. well. Uh, it, it's a crucial time for South Africa and for South African education. Earlier on the show, uh, we were talking about the projected dropout rate because of COVID-19. A myriad of problems, a debate around rotational learning, uh, a debate about what will happen in, in future because these kids have lost out on, on so much schoolwork. Um, is, is that all daunting for you to, to come into the educational sector at this time? Well... It is a, definitely a, a big challenge. And the universities of the 21st century uh, clearly have to re-engineer themselves so that they can serve the constituency of students that we have now. Uh, we have to uh, grapple with the fact that some of the students uh, may never even ever come to the classroom. So accessibility of information through other means remains important. But of course, I have not started. I don't know what plans the university uh, has got, but I imagine they've thought about all these things because we don't want children to come to school, start and then drop out before they finish because we have invested so much from the time they start at foundation phase to grade 12 to come to university. If when they come to university, they then drop out without completing their degrees. That is a, a cause for concern. So anything that the university will be doing to start, I mean, to encourage students and help them to finish, I would be interested in supporting. All right, and I completely understand what you're saying. This is an early announcement, and we appreciate you, you speaking to us now, even though you will be inaugurated later. Um, uh, there was speculation uh, about what you would be doing when, when it was announced you were coming back to South Africa. Uh, some speculation that you would become a, a big player again in the political arena. Uh, any comment on that? No, no one told me that. So I, you could tell me. I, I don't know about it. 
<laughs> Does this mean you will focus on, on other things, not necessarily um, the, the big politics in South Africa? Uh, all of us are, are focused on politics in one way or the other because it concerns all of, all of us in, in, in the country. But uh, education for me is very concrete. Uh, it's something that uh, I can and want to engage, engage with. So I, I would say uh, I am in education first, and then uh, politics is just part of my life. It's just as much as it's part of your life. Sure. And, and uh, any other plans that, that you can reveal to us? Uh, like you say, as Chancellor, you, you won't have to be there full time. Uh, any other plans, uh, given your experience uh, now in, in very high profile, very senior positions at the UN? Well, you know, um, higher education uh, depends a lot on, col on collaboration with different institutions. So to the extent possible and with all the contacts that I have, I would like to make sure that uh, uh, the university benefits from that. But I'm also interested in other institutions in South Africa and other universities. I'm interested in seeing collaboration between these uh, uh, institutions. This problem, the, the problems that we have are not the problems that any university can deal with alone. It's important that uh, there is this collaboration between and amongst uh, institutions of yeah. learning, as well as to connect with the uh, school. I work in schools. My foundation, Umalamba Foundation, we work at school level. So I'm also interested to see the collaboration between universities and schools so that we prepare children who are still at school for a fruitful university yeah. life. Finally, Doctor, uh, you've mentioned the problems. Uh, we, we do have massive problems on one hand. On the other hand, we have great um, uh, tertiary institutions, uh, some of them world class. Absolutely. Do you think the future is, is bright for, for South African learners and students? Uh, yes, I think uh, it is bright and it could be brighter. And uh, it's going to require all of us to work as hard as possible and to raise the bar uh, for children so that uh, they, they can aspire to excel in whatever field they choose. But talent is there in South Africa. All right, thank you for your time. The incoming Chancellor of the University of Johannesburg, UJ, Dr. Pumzile Mlambo Nuka.